Hello, my name is Ray, and I am a tinkering lead here at the Scott Family Museum. Today I'm going to show you how to make flipbooks today. <laughs> it's pretty simple to get started. You need sticky notepad or pieces of paper that have been cut up, or even index cards will work. And then writing utensils, pencils, pens, markers, things like that. Scissors if you need to cut paper. Simple as that. I will make a little example. I find it easiest to start at the very last page because when you go to the next one you'll see kind of the outline of what you just drew makes it a little easier than if you start at the beginning. I would start with a pencil so you can erase any mistakes but if you want to make it more fancy with some markers or pens after you finish drawing go for it. Kinda. It's <laughs> kinda what I get for drawing it backwards. But it does kinda work. <laughs> and if it's hard to draw it while it's attached, you can lay it out kinda like a storyboard, have them all in like a row and draw them out that way. That also works. Whatever you think's easier for you. At least 10 of them, but preferably more than that. When you draw, this way you want to make sure you remember your sequence of events and you know, what order your animation is going to go in so let's say this is the first one this is the last one so you want to make sure that you draw them in whatever order your story is going to be in Alternatives to sticky notes again are the paper, which you want to cut them kind of small. And you can hold them together by a binder clip or stapling it together. I haven't tried gluing them, but that might work if you leave it for a little bit. Note cards are thicker, so they're going to be harder to flip. So, may or may not work the best. But if that's what you have, go for it. Something else you could do if you want kind of a, a level up version of this, is you can take lots of pictures. If you have to hold down the shutter bu button on your phone or camera, if that makes it easier, go for it. And then you can print them off and staple them together and have a little flip book that way. Make sure you share your flip books with us on our page or on Instagram. We would love to see them. That's it for me.